you suffer because life really wants to give you what you've been asking for. But if every time life tries to give you the things you've been asking for, the things you truly seek, your grand intention in life, you simply resist those experiences and you hang on to the familiar, then you are calling into an experience of suffering, an experience of distress, which now becomes necessary to get you closer to your dream reality, to get you closer to your grand intention in life. Because each and every experience in life is meant to get you closer to your dream reality, is meant to get you closer to your grand intention in life. Each and every experience is an opportunity to have a breakthrough if you allow it to be. So whether it's the suffering that you create in your mind, in your head, or it's the suffering that you experience through your external reality, through external experiences, it's you who's calling into those experiences to act as guides to get you closer to your dream reality because you have been resisting yourself. You have been resisting your grand intention in life. So imagine if your grand intention is to, or your, or your or your dream reality is to have a million dollars, or it's to become free, to experience true freedom. But every time life tr gives you an experience that remotely resembles freedom or remotely resembles financial abundance, you resist it and you hang on to the familiar. You resist it by you know, hanging on to your aspects of control, hanging on to the need of trying to control each and every detail of that experience. You completely resist that freedom because freedom by nature is attributed to, to the unfamiliar, to the unknown. And you have to submit to that. You have to surrender to the unknown if you want true freedom. But if every time you just try to control all of the aspects around those situation, around this situation, or if you want to have a million dollars, but every time you get some money, you end up wasting it on some things you don't, on things that don't mean much to you. You end up spending it aimlessly and mindlessly. You have spending problems. Then you are resisting yourself. You are resisting your grand intention. And by doing that, you call on to a third experience, neither the one you're envisioning and neither also, nor the one you're actually living through, but a third experience that act as a guide. It's an experience that normally, generally is attributed with suffering because it teaches you to let go of the things you've become so accustomed to. It teaches you to adopt new things in life which you don't which you aren't familiar of. Eckhart Tolle once said something very interesting. He said that suffering is necessary until you realize it's not. So what does he mean by that? What he means is that <laughs> suffering is necessary as long as you are resisting yourself. And how do you resist yourself? You resist yourself by wishing onto an experience, onto a specific type of reality, onto a specific vision of a reality, yet hang on so tightly to your current reality. You dream about one reality, but you remain so identified with your current reality. You never open yourself up for that reality. And by doing so for that reality you've been seeking in life. And by doing so, you create this resistance. You create that split in your reality, in yourself, within yourself. You're neither aligned with that future nor with your present. And so now you create, you ask, you call for a third experience that's neither your future, the future you want, and it's nor the present the present that you've been identified with that experience comes as a teacher it teaches you to let go of control it teaches you to let go of your need for perfectionism in order to, to be able to now to start that business to start that to start pursuing your dreams because if you're trying to pursue your dreams if you're trying to become to do something different but you're always bound by your need for perfectionism oh it's not complete it's not yet done i have to perfect it i have to have the perfect image for it before i put it out there in the world then you are resisting that dream reality can then nothing life will give you 
is gonna be able to get you there so it gives you a third experience that now teaches you to let go of those aspects teaches you to let go of your spending problems of your need for control of your need to control each and everything of your need for perfectionism of your toxicity dependency of your need to have a toxic dramatic relationship in your life to feel alive if you seek a healthy relationship but you cower in fear every time you experience someone you you are you meet someone who's very nice to you and who's really who really loves you unconditionally because you've been you you start thinking that now something is going to go wrong that that person is just faking it that that person is deceiving me because you've been so accustomed to conditional love to to conditional attention and so you are you keep on attracting toxic partners in your life toxic relationships dramatic relationships that's never about unconditional love now that experience that third experience but you yet you you keep on dreaming for that healthy relationship you keep on dreaming you keep on seeking it you keep praying for that million dollars for that financial freedom for that freedom for that business for that success yet you are so accustomed you are holding on so tightly to the things that are against those realities and every time life gives you an experience that tries to take this away from you, that tries to teach you to let go of that thing, you hang on so tightly to those things and you resist life, you resist yourself, you resist that experience and you simply choose to remain within the comforts of your own reality, of your current present reality, then you ask for a third experience and it keeps getting more and more intense until you realize it's unnecessary so it tries with one experience but you fail to to let go of the things or adopt the new things that you are meant to which are going to get you closer to your dream reality then it gives you a more, more intense experience maybe this is going to work because still you're maintaining your future vision but you're not healing yourself you're not removing you're not dissolving through the blockages within yourself that are preventing you from getting there. So now it gives you, it keeps getting more and more intense until one of those experiences is gonna make you detach from the ego. And that's what suffering does. When you detach from the ego, now you detach from all of those aspects. You detach from your need from control of control. So it gives you experiences that takes away basically all the control you have. And now you're hopeless. You can do nothing about it and you learn that you through this experience that you can still experience safety that you can still survive that you could expel is still go on living while not having that control so it takes away those things from you by force it takes away your free your control it takes away your perfectionism it forces you in a situation where everything is not perfect it forces you in a situation where it teaches you to hate toxicity where it teaches you, in which it teaches you that you don't really want toxicity, that you want to get rid of all of this drama and toxicity and you just simply want a healthy relationship. It puts you in a situation. It confines you to teach you that freedom is truly what you seek and freedom is about the unknown. Freedom is about submitting and surrendering to the unfamiliar. And that's how suffering is created. Because it tries to take away things from you that you have been living through for decades. They've been defined by for decades. And it gives you new things that you know nothing about. And that feels so uncomfortable. And that causes the suffering. That causes the distress in your reality. But when you realize it's not necessary, that's when you start healing through yourself. When you realize there's a tug of war going on within you. And in order for you to align energetically psychologically physically even with that reality you seek you should teach yourself you should learn yourself you should you should teach yourself to let go of those things to let go of that aspect control of aspect of control aspect of perfectionism you should stop reacting from that initiative from that identification that i need to control whenever you find yourself trying to control and or or seeking out drama or spending about to spend aimlessly and mindlessly hold for a second and say i'm not that person anymore you know i'm aligned with something and eventually you are going to be able to see where those blockages 
are stemming from and you're going to be able to heal through those blockages through those obstacles you're going to be able to dissolve through them and that's when you are not resisting yourself that's when you reach to a point in which you're able to create without the need for an experience of suffering now life doesn't have to give you an experience of suffering that forces you to align with your dream reality that forces you even perhaps to take action towards your dream reality you know what you want and you're aligning with it you're working towards it emotionally mentally and perhaps even physically you're taking the actions without there be a need for an external stimuli that forces you to take action that forces you to act against your current reality you don't need now a problem you don't need to hit rock bottom in order for you to be able to take action towards your dream reality but if you're always leaving yourself your emotions aligned with your current reality your thoughts aligned with your current reality your actions aligned with your only your current reality because you're in, you're in in a comfortable place yet you're imagining and envisioning and praying and calling onto that future dream reality then you need an external stimuli life will do everything to get you there even if it's in the form of suffering now again you make it up as suffering but it doesn't have to be an experience of suffering but to the normal human to the vast majority of people it's going to feel very uncomfortable it's going to feel very scary it's going to be very fearful even if it's really fear it could or it could even be a very fearful dark experience that is manifested in your external reality because you sought it out to get you closer to your dream reality and that's what happens when you resist yourself that's what a tug of war within your essence creates in your external reality it manifests neither the side nor that side but a different side altogether which forces you in a way to align with either of those sides either let go of your dream reality what you've been envisioning or align with it let go of your current reality let go of your attachment to each and everything in your current reality let go of your need to control and identification with outcomes and your need for drama to align with your future reality feel the love know your true worth see yourself as worthy and value feel your worth coming from within connect with your divine nature awaken those feelings of worthiness and deservedness and love and joy and gratitude because that what aligns you with whatever dream reality you are envisioning thank you so much for tuning in to another video by af conscious frequency don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel because it helps me so much and it helps this video find its way to many more others who might actually need it